What you're gonna wanna start with is just get that medium sized screwdriver and put it in between the cradle and that C-clip and pry the end of it up a little bit just so it bends just a little bit. That'll make it easier to actually push the C-clip off of the pin there. And then once you get that bent a little bit, you can just put your finger on the back of the C-clip just to keep it in place and push on the C-clip. It comes off relatively easily. Next, you wanna take a longer flathead screwdriver and you want to push the clutch pedal in um, to the point where it's gonna release most of the tension on that pin. And you're gonna to wanna to pry against that little bracket there with the flathead screwdriver and um, push the clutch pedal in, release the tension, and then pry on the pin and it's gonna pop out a little bit. Then once you've popped that pin out a little bit with that flathead screwdriver, you're gonna to wanna to take a pretty beefy set of needle nose pliers and you're gonna to wanna to get it on the end of that pin on the other side. And I know the camera shot's not great here, but you can fit the, the needle nose pliers just on that little area where you've popped it out. And you wanna just kinda of move the clutch pedal in and out and try and find the point where that pin is, uh, has the least amount of tension on it and then just slowly and surely it'll wiggle out with those needle nose pliers. And then next, I know I make it look really easy here, but you're gonna to wanna to take that same long screwdriver and you're gonna to wanna to push the clutch pedal all the way in as far as you can push it. And then you're gonna to wanna to shove the spring off of the where it's attached to the clutch pedal because it'll still stay there even with the pin removed. It's, it takes a little bit of force to get that off there. So push the clutch pedal all the way in and just shove it off. Yeah, it will go off. It does take a little bit of doing. Like I said, I know I make it look easy here, but it did take me a few tries to get that. So after you get that pushed off, you can actually remove the spring and the top part of the cradle there. It just slides right off. Um, I'm not sure if I broke something or if it's just supposed to be like that, but I'm, I'm re relatively sure it's supposed to be like that, which makes things easy because you can just pull that right off and then it's completely out of the way at the throw of the clutch pedal. This part's optional. I just put a uh, zip tie around the piece that's left on there connected to the bracket. Um, I just put it around the bottom to hopefully keep it from vibrating or making any noise. So if you want to adjust the actual throw of the clutch pedal, you want to remove the plug that's connected to the throttle pedal. The first That's the first thing you want to do because the, it's, it, it's right in the way where you need to put the wrench to loosen the 12 millimeter bolt there on that rod. And then what I did was I held the bracket there with needle nose pliers just to keep it from flexing and put the 12 millimeter wrench on there on that nut and you want to you want to turn it clockwise to loosen it from the bracket there which is technically tightening but you're going to want to loosen it off the bracket by turning it clockwise and then you're going to want to turn the rod counterclockwise so it goes into that saddle a little bit and that is going to that's going to move the clutch pedal inward so it's more level with the brake pedal. So the only video I wasn't able to get because of the angles in there was of me adjusting this sensor after I adjusted the throw of the clutch pedal. Um, you, you'll probably need to adjust this after you adjust the throw of the clutch pedal. What you want to do is you want to adjust it so that little pin there is depressed fully, but not you don't want that, that piece there on the clutch pedal smacking up against the threads when it's fully when it's fully disengaged and you want to do that by loosening the 14 millimeter nut on the outside of the sensor there and then just turn the inner nut until it it's going to land where you want it to be and then just tighten it back up and again you just you don't want that that uh piece on the clutch pedal there smacking into that threaded part of the sensor 